Hello, in this video I show you the commissioning of a Festo motor controller CMMP ASM3 together with uh, Siemens PLC CPU S7-1200 using the TR Portal V17. And here is how it goes. Hello, welcome back. This is Gerd Seller from Seller Press Control System, and off we go with this configuration. Um, in the first video, I showed you how to set up the hardware configuration, and this video is the continuation which shows you on how to do the software configuration. So, in order to do this, um, Festo provides you a library for the TR portal which is actually also found on their internet site in the motor controller. We go to software and then to the function block section and here's the function block section of the Siemens portal step 7 and this you can download and after you downloaded it you can install it in the TR portal. So in order to install it you will have to go to the library. Um, I just first go offline here with my program and then you go all the way to the right side to this uh, column libraries and here you will find an item which is called Open Global Library. And the download of the libraries somewhat looks like this. It starts up from the V13 all the way up to the V16. And you want to open the V16 by double clicking and then open this .ia16 file and you will already see I have installed the v17 and the library is from the v16 so we need to upgrade it there we go all right, and now you can see the Festo library right here, and this contains several folders. And you want to open this master copy folder and start up with the data types. You will be needing the data type um, PRM file, FMRF, and FML status and drag this over to the section of the PLC data types, which is right here. Just drag and drop it and it will be installed right here. Next, you will be needing a POU, which is called FHHP control, FHPP control, sorry. And that goes over to the program blocks right here on the left side of your program. And then we need the um, POUs for the read and write process from and to CMMP, which are those two. DP read and the DP write, and also we need the two mapping files which needs to be dragged over. And um, just let me double check if this is all. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, that seems to be all. All right, once this is done, I think um, since we upgraded it from version 16 to 17, 
it will be the best to do a compiling because I am pretty sure that there will be some problems appearing. Maybe it happens only after we drag and drop because I know there will be something right here. I had this on a previous file also but I want to show you this because otherwise you will have this problem later on. Right there it is. So this says interface of data type has been changed. So if we make a right click on here, we should be able to update this interface right here. And if you do this, we should be all set to go with that. Let me just double check on it. Yes, it should be okay right now. All right, the next step should be um, creating a function block. Add a new block where we can actually write the program. And we make a function block which is called whatever cmmp underscore com. You can call this whatever you want. And I'm using the language letter file because I think that's the most common language from you guys writing program codes. And there we go. And this needs to be called in the OB1 where you can just go ahead and drag and drop that over and create your data block for it. And you are all set with that. And you can close that OB1 and you open the FB for the communication. Go ahead and in the first network drag and drop the read FB and create a single instance DB. And then go ahead and drag the control in the next network FHPP control also creating a single instance and then the right and then you're all set with that and then the next step will be to set up the needed um, variable in the static section of the header from the um, from the function block and I just call it fml underscore ref which is the data type dt fml ref the next one will be the dprd status which is the data file, um, hang on a second, dt fml status. And the same you will do for the write, dpr wr status. And this will also be the DTFML status, and then you need the device type, device type, which is a string of 16. Um, I just make it this way, that way I find the, the columns easier string. 16 and this is called 
You have to write this exactly the same way as ZMMP underscore AS. All right. After this is done, you will put the parameters in the according function blocks. So on here, you will be needing the um, FML ref and you need the status um, dp one moment i want to make this right d d b read status and the device type right here device type there it is without the uh, square uh, here we go all right then the next one for the control block we also need the fml ref and on here we also need the FML ref and on the status we need the DP write status. So if we got this done, we compile the program, which we can do right here. Rebuild all. I hope we don't have any error in it. So we do have an No, nope, no error whatsoever. We can check this down here. Arrow zero, warning zero, and then we can go ahead and download it. So you make a right click again on here. Download to device. Software only changes. Oh, I forgot something. Um, on the read and write a section we have to find a hardware address io from the fhpp which should be um, in the net in the device and network in the network view click on the festo and then i think we should go on here in order to go to the Make a double click, wait one moment. Right here. Yes, right here on the FHPP standard one. Then we have a hardware identifi identifier, which in this case is the 277. And we will have to put this on this item right here 277 and also the 277 right here so where am i now exactly so now we can compile it again should be no faults again no errors i hope yes and then go ahead and download it to the controller All right, now we should be all set. And then in the library, there is also a nice watch table that we can use in order to see if our program 
is working. So the watch tables are right here. And we can drag this one over the FHPP control in the watch table section right here. And if we open this and put on the watch glasses, I'm hoping we will have communication established. If we just write a program mode, like the one. All right, so we get any feedback already. And now we should be able, if we write the code zero, we should be able to see in our CMM, oh yeah, um, then you can see this is the watch section and, it, and somewhere further down there is there is a table to control the CMMP and if I open this right now Go to the operate and go online. And if I set, if I set the enabled drive to true, we hopefully have the feedback right here that we can see that the communication from the software is established to the CMMP. And now we are able to control the CMMP via this watch table or via a program code, which I will show you in the next video. So thank you for watching on this video on how to set up the software communication from a Siemens TRV17 CPU 7 S7. 1200 to a Festo CMMP. And thank you for watching and bye bye.